Hey, it's Wednesday. Uh, just a couple hours ago, finished um, four miles on the treadmill today, uh, which is what I wanted to do last week when my um, IT band started to hurt me a little bit. But uh, continuing to focus on stretching, <clears throat> getting better at stretching before and after. Um, and so I uh, was able to get through it. I, uh, uh, not running very fast right now, but that's okay. Um, we're still moving forward, which is the most important thing. Um, and I have just decided today that in advance of the half that I'm doing in the end of April, uh, I would like to do one race with other humans around me uh, before then so that on the day it's not all it's not so overwhelming uh, i've done races before but it's been a long time um and uh i know it's a lot of people and uh i'll tell you a story 2020 i did um there's a 10k that's part of the kentucky derby festival um did i say 2020 2000 not 2020 in the year 2000 the distant future the year 2000 it's a reference for those of you who will understand it um which i think it's probably more people than than i realize anyway not important um in 2000 i lined up to do this 10k um like third row back from the start <laughs> um and I finished, like, in the top 300 or something like that out of 8,000 or so. Uh, so, that's back when I was in shape, right? But um, I remember the first mile or two, it was during track season. So our track coach was like, you can do this race, but you're not. He's like, for the first four miles, uh, you're just going to tuck in behind somebody that's taking it easy and just wait and then for the last couple miles start running hard um and uh i remembered that that was my, supposed to be my plan after the first mile but the first mile i went out with everybody uh and uh it's easy to get swept up in all of that um and i know right now my level of fitness is not nearly the same uh so I want at least one shot of um, controlling myself at the start. Um, I want to do a Sifan Hassan. <laughs> if you remember from the Olympics this past summer, actually she did it more than just at the Olympics, but particularly at the Olympics because she was doing so many races. Um, at the start of the race, she would let everybody go and then just step to the inside of the track instead of jockeying for position or taking off um and then she would work her way up from the back uh, i'm not going to be working my way up from the back but i do want the experience of uh starting and not being swept up in the tide so uh anyway that's a long way of getting to the place where i say that i have signed up to do the same 10k from 2000 that I did uh after 22 years they've been asking me <laughs> I'm making my uh, not so triumphant return I'm just doing it I was trying to find other races um around the same time but one of the things that I've noticed is there's not there's a lot of 5ks which I could just do a 5k it would have been fine um but there are not many 10ks so uh, I don't know there's an opportunity there maybe somebody self uh, could start one um, that would be a draw for people who are looking for a particular distance. Um, just a thought. So I signed up for that today. That is in March. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm shooting for about an hour. Um, the times that I have collected so far at 10K have been uh just outside of that hour five um 
I did one on the treadmill. Um, I think I mentioned it maybe on one of these videos. Uh, well, I did one this past Sunday, but that one was not, was like 82 minutes. I did one in 72 minutes um, on the treadmill and I've done 105 on the road. Um, so uh, if I'm up to 72 minutes on the treadmill fitness, I'm thinking I could probably push the road time down some. Um, so I'm shooting for an hour. Long way of getting there. Um, that would be faster than 10 minutes a mile. Um, so, anyway, the the reason to do it is to get the mass start experience before the half marathon because I definitely don't want to go out too fast that day. Um, but if I know anything about how I run on the road, I will inevitably go out too fast. Um, all right, uh, I guess that's all to say. I ran four miles today and I signed up for a race. Um, surprise haircut in the middle of the video. Good morning, happy Friday. Three miles easy, except nothing's ever easy on the virtual treadmill. Virtual, it's not virtual, it's real and it's very manual, very analog. Uh, so not fast or anything. And my Bluetooth speaker that I usually will have you when I'm watching TV or listening to music or whatever out here died uh, in the first mile of the three. So I had to go for two plus miles without sound. Boo hoo. Uh, it was frustrating, but it's, you know, it's fine. Um, so yeah, it's a good day. And I will see you soon. Um, a little bit of a catch-up video to cap off uh, this string of updates. I have two days of running to catch you up on. Um, like, you, I know you're just anxiously awaiting with bated breath what happened on these runs. Um, no, Sunday I was supposed to do uh, a long day and uh, right back to some hamstring IT band. Uh, not confusing those two things. Both of those things happened. <laughs> um pain on my left leg uh on the treadmill so i shut it down after four miles um a little disappointed with that uh and then uh out of an abundance of caution took some days off monday tuesday um wednesday was delightful um weather wise outside like in the 60s uh, so got out on the road for the first time since uh, mid-January and uh, found that um, my hamstrings are doing all the work on the treadmill and my quads are not doing any of the work. So they're uh, getting a little weak and uh, like today I cannot walk. I'm sore. My quads are so sore <laughs> because they did something yesterday for the first time in a while. Um, so, uh, that means I have to care for that, um, going into the next couple of months. I've signed up for a 10K March 19th, so just over a month away. Got to really make sure that, uh, I'm ready for that. And, uh, we'll be out on the road outside here more coming up, I hope. Hope the weather changes. Um, then the other thing that about yesterday's run was in the midst of it, um, core weakness just uh uh stitches and, and pains in the middle of my body that um aren't happening on the treadmill i don't know what the difference is there uh but uh i definitely need to spend a lot of time focusing on the off the treadmill off the road exercising uh, i keep saying that and uh you would think i'm learning my lesson Turns out, uh, I'm still learning. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, yesterday, uh, went out on the road thinking, ah, I'm going to show off all the great progress I've made on this treadmill. And the reality was very different. I was running faster than I do on the treadmill, um, minutes per mile pace, but, uh, 
the end result was um, really drawing a line under how out of shape I am. Um, so lots of good work left to be done. And I will keep you posted.